Bastille versus the Evil Librarians. This is the final book in the Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarians series. 256 pages, 22 chapters. What if librarians took over the world? That is the premise of this book, and they are the quote-unquote bad guys. The good guys are the free kingdoms. They're fighting to be free, and <laughs> um, the librarians are led by Bibliodin or something to that effect. Um, the Smedries are a line of, um, I wouldn't say royalty, but I don't know, related to those in charge of the free kingdoms. Their genetic uh, talents are passed down. And Alcatraz is the former main character of the first five books. And so Bastille is um, his partner, for lack of a better word. Um, her, she's sworn to protect the Smedri line as a knight, and they, she is protecting him through the entire book as they go through the adventures to hopefully save the world from the librarians. So again, this is from the perspective of Bastille, um, whereas the past five books have all been from the perspective of Alcatraz. And the prison names, it, it was meant to discredit them, uh, you know, as... Uh, or, or really, the, the names are supposedly prestigious, but the librarians named prisons after the prestigious names to, um, you know, discredit and kind of hide and control information. And that's what all this is about, is access to information. The librarians are trying to stifle and control access to information while the free kingdoms are trying to spread and raise awareness and share uh, information. Um, yeah, they, they really... Um, there's chapter introductions, so each chapter uh, starts with kind of an aside. Sometimes it's about writing, sometimes it's about the story, sometimes it's about Bastille, sometimes it's about Alcatraz, but um, they're a lot of fun, and it, you know, this is supposed to be written from the perspective of a teenager, so they can be about anything. You know, it could be snarky remarks, it could be like, oh, this is what I wish we were doing, so it really could be anything. And this is the final book. Lots of fun, great concept. Um, the, there's lots of themes, there's the perspectives, um, right, the, the talents, and then in addition there is oculators who use glasses or lenses, and so those with the ability, glasses provide the ability, so each different type of lens grants a different ability, so uh, I like that, the perspective of seeing things differently, right, um, there is you know, the, the struggle of the librarians versus the hushlands versus the free kingdoms. There's the slant viewer's lens, right? Seeing things differently. Just the whole thing. Glasses are superpower, right? You know, you think of glasses being nerdy and smart, but here in this universe, they grant uh, special abilities. So super cool there. Um, this one I actually found by accident, but uh, yeah, my daughter was playing with the book and there's a map on the inside. So it details the world that is super cool um again found out by accident would not i would never have figured it out myself but uh there is um different covers and different artwork so it was originally the series was originally published through scholastic and then it was revamped uh and the covers were re redrawn so different artwork and this is actually jancy patterson is a new author who's been assisting with um you know in collaboration with brandon sanderson on a bunch of his novels so the perspective was neat and interesting because it is supposed to be from a female perspective the female main character so liked that um enjoyed the concept glasses are powerful um, you know, librarians even have a different way of thinking. They're always trying to categorize and organize things. So that was fun too, that maybe not a weakness, but their strength was organization and they got that used against them. So good stuff there. I liked the variety of librarians. There's the library at Alexandria. There is the, you know, um, library of Congress, regional libraries, local libraries. So I really liked the variety and the different types. You know, they had frontline soldiers, they had ghost librarians. It was just a lot of fun. And yeah, um, some things I didn't like, it was hard to identify with Alcatraz. I think he's like 12 or 13 uh, at the start of this book, but um, you know, he's kind of lost and raised by his grandfather. So I, it was difficult for me to identify with that, but um, uh, that was just me. Uh, 
I had trouble waiting for this book to come out, so I finished book five thinking that that was the end, and, you know, surprise, there's one more. So that was kind of uh, a dislike for me that I had to wait for this book. Usually when I read book series, and they've been out for a long time, so it was cool to read something uh, that was, you know, in the process of coming out, but also kind of a bummer. I really thought they should have had less Gak and more teddy bears. There is this animal beast thing in this universe and it's difficult to um be around i i'd say it's the equivalent of like a bear or something for us and you know difficult to avoid but yet um yeah the teddy bears were a lot of fun in the previous books uh last thing was a quote and really this could summarize the entire series um uh we wound up up the staircase for miles at top speed. Alcatraz clinging to my shoulders and making the terrified squealing noises whenever we got too close uh, to the edge. Shut up, you big baby, I told him. I don't want to have to break, break gravity again, Alcatraz said. That was fair, though having an army of sharks to fling at the enemy would add to our assets nicely. So that was a conversation between Alcatraz and Bastille. And that little paragraph summed up the whole um, phrase, right? Uh, Alcatraz has these powers and abilities. He gets himself into trouble. He breaks things. Bastille's there to pull him out, carry him on her shoulders, and, you know, finish the job, that kind of thing. So they work as a team. They're a pair. Like, it's not just one or the other. In tandem, they accomplish the missions. But uh, it's just funny that they're so different and unique, and then they work well together. So that really could sum up the whole series. Great series, young adult novel, fiction, fantasy, just a real treat. Brandon Sanderson has wonderful ideas, and uh, Jan C. Patterson did a great job of uh, executing on this book. So if you haven't yet read them, they are a lot of fun. This is the Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarian series. And remember to buy your books used or digital.